Hello, good evening, everybody. Somebody there. Hi. Ah, good, good evening. Hi. Good evening, LB. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. How was today at work? <sighs> really? A little bit heavy? That's always right. Yeah, I mean, the traffic, the things that you had to do in your work, right? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Más que vengo de Santa Ana, me tocó ir a Santa Ana, entonces también había tráfico. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can tell. I mean, when that happens, it's really difficult, right? Especially for the traffic. Because sí. the traffic by the area, I mean, from Santa Ana to San Salvador and vice versa. Man, that, that's super difficult. Yeah, I mean, super difficult. Uh, like I remember in the, in one past module I had last year, some classmates were uh, were annoying at, uh, another another student because that student he just he just usually crossed the street to go to, to get to his work. Basically, his work is on the other on the other side of the street. Just imagine and having a work like that. That would be like so easy. I mean, you don't have to spend on, on gas. You don't have to, to take your car to work and everything. Tenían un compañero en un módulo pasado que solían molestarlo bastante porque él solo se cruzaba la calle para llegar al trabajo. El trabajo prácticamente estaba enfrente de su casa. Qué felicidad. Exactly. Right? Capaz llegaba tarde. Exactly. No, man, that was, that was crazy. All right, guys. Uh, by today, we're going to have a lot of things to do. Uh, since today, basically, we start the second week. Uh, we're going to have new topics to discuss this week, uh, mostly related to simple present, as we have been discussing uh, these days, right? So let's remember that we are like from something like very, very easy, like to the most complex topics. That are going to be at the end of, of, of the module. But like right now, uh, we are going to be like, you know, like working with topics that I think you know, you know, right? The topic that we're going to be uh, discussing tonight is going to be a very, very easy topic in which we are going to be practicing some conversations. We are going to be practicing some questions, some positive statements. Right, uh, we have a lot of things to practice tonight. But before starting the practice, you know, I'm going to pass the attendance list. I think it's 8.03, so it's time to pass the attendance list so we can start with that. Ah, by the way, por cierto, tengo que felicitar a prácticamente todos, 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 porque me cumplieron con las tareas. Hey, me eh, eh, después de clase, que solo tuve que esperar unos 15 minutos y ya el 100% ya estaba de las notas I mean, de todos, todos, 100% and everything, man that was, that, was, that was really really nice from you all people, so congratulations for that, good uh, evening, uh, Carlos right, so in that case uh, I'm expecting the same thing to happen this second week recordemos que para este viernes a más tardar esta semana Aparte de las cinco tareas que tienen para esta semana, el viernes ustedes van a tener que hacer el midterm o examen de medio curso, ¿ok? Que igual está en la sección abajito de la section 2, del, básicamente donde hacemos las, los, las tareas. Ahí va a estar el midterm, que ya sería para esta, uh, para esta semana, ¿ok? Ya sería su primera evaluación aparte de las tareas. So in that way, we're going to be like, you know, like trying to, to get into the topics that we have been practicing uh, this week and the ones that we practiced last week. So let's start with the attendance list, just to start with the topic, because we have a lot of things to do today. Give me one second. I'm going to pass this thing. All right, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Ah, okay. Nice. Ah, uh, Cindy Melanie. Cindy, 
Okay, no here. Uh, Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher. Okay, perfect. Move. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Hi, I'm Michelle. Uh, hi, Michelle. You're at home now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gustavo Adolfo. Gustavo Adolfo. Gustavo. All right, now here. Okay, let's move. Let me see. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, excellent. Jose Antonio. Let me see. Jose Elgar. Present. Okay, great. Let's move. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel, is it here? Okay, not yet. Let's move. Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, nice. Let's continue. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, great. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, excellent. Luis Gerardo. Luis Gerardo is here. No. Okay, let's move. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Wendy Yemilet. Presente. Okay, excellent. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. And uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Very nice. Let's see. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Jose. I hear teacher present. All right, nice. Soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, great. So it's gonna be like the ones. Ah, uh, give me one second at the beginning. So we're gonna start with the things that we got for tonight. So let me show the presentation that we're gonna be discussing. And we're just going to do this one. All right, so this is the presentation that we're gonna have uh, for the rest of the night. Okay, me confirman si pueden ver la presentación, por favor. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. nice, perfect, thank you. So this is the video conference number six and tonight's topic is going to be how to use frequency adverbs. Estos básicamente eh, los vimos como en una breve pausa la semana pasada, right? Uh, no eran el tema central, eh, pero sí estuvimos viendo, viendo algunos ejemplos, like how to use them together with time expressions. If you remember uh, the time expressions, you must remember this one. So this one's a whole, remember, frequency adverbs. All right, so this is going to be uh, the main topic for tonight. Let's remember, if you have any question when I am explaining, please turn on the microphone and let me know, okay? Ask. Let's start over. What do we have for tonight? We are going to have a review from the previous topics. We're gonna be talking, remembering the main topics that we were discussing last week. Then we're going to have the introduction to frequency adverbs, like the main topic for tonight. And then we are going to start using questions with frequency adverbs. Remember that not only positive and negative statements are done in here, but questions as well. And then we're going to do an activity with questions. And then we're going to be working in the manual because we have some conversations to practice related to this topic. So basically, this is like the most important that we have for tonight, right? So this is like the most relevant. Eso es como lo más relevante que tenemos para esta noche entonces, right? Con relación al, al, al tema central que vamos a tener. Siempre recuerden, si tienen alguna pregunta mientras yo estoy explicando el contenido, pueden encender su micrófono y preguntar, okay? It's really important for us to answer, right? And ask questions, remember, right? Así para el momento cuando hagamos las actividades, 
y dije, pues no estemos ahí como que, ah, hubiera preguntado, ah, no entiendo esta parte, ok, and in that way we can, we can do these things. All right, let's start. Frequency adverbs. Ok, what is a frequency adverb for you? Primero que nada, vamos a, vamos a hablar un poco sobre qué es un adverbio. What is an adverb? Para ustedes, ¿qué viene siendo un adverbio? Aunque no tengamos una definición de qué sea, pero ¿qué creen ustedes que puede ser? What do you think it is? Something that comes to your mind, something that you think or you believe that it might be. ¿Qué creen ustedes que puede hacer? Mm -hmm. I just think to, you know, like interact. Al, algún auxiliar it. del verbo, no sé. Algún teacher, auxiliar del verbo. Hmm. Si no mal recuerdo, teacher. Can be. Era uh -huh. eh, como una palabra que indica un lugar, creo que es. Una palabra que algo indica así. un lugar. Ah, Ajá. Vamos, es que hay un viejo de lugar. Vamos casi, casi, por ahí, por ahí, cerca, 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 cerca. Listen, un adverbio, inclusive en español, es una palabra, listen, es una palabra que por lo general, si se acuerdan los adjetivos, ¿a quién describe un adjetivo? Describe a un nombre, ¿ok? Si yo digo... The girl is beautiful. Ah, la chica es bonita. So, beautiful es el adjetivo. Ok. The girl is el subject. Entonces, ¿a quién está describiendo el adjetivo? Al nombre, right? In this case, el adverbio lo que hace es describir como un adjetivo, describir, pero no un nombre, sino un verbo. So, un, adjet un, un adverbio es una palabra que describe un verbo. Esa es, esa es la función principal. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, vaya, tomando, tomando como ejemplo un adverbio normal. La palabra fast. Fast de rápido. Fast. Ese es un adverbio. ¿Ok? Entonces, si yo digo, William runs fast. Ok, William corre rápido. Entonces, la palabra fast está describiendo el verbo con el cual yo estoy hablando de William. Entonces, ¿qué acción está haciendo William? Está corriendo. ¿Cómo lo está haciendo? Ah, rápido. Ok, so, entonces siempre tengan presente esto. Un adverbio lo que hace es describir un verbo. Ok, esa es la función principal. All right, now, ahora bien, hablando de los frequency adverbs como la palabra lo indica o su nombre lo indica, frequency. ¿Se les, ¿Se les viene algo a la mente cuando escuchan la palabra frequency? ¿Qué puede ser? Frecuente. Frecuente o frecuencia, right Entonces, los adverbios de frecuencia son usados para mencionar qué tan frecuentemente nosotros hacemos una actividad. right So, that's the frequency adverbs about. Check this out. Uh, William, help me out reading this, this short definition. An adverb of frequency uh -huh. describes uh -huh. how often an action happens. Ah, okay, very good. So in that case, remember, it says an adverb of frequency or frequency adverb describes how often an action happens. ¿Qué dice entonces? Que describe qué tan a menudo sucede una actividad. ¿Ok? So, that's the main function of a frequency adverb. ¿Right? So, teniendo esta pequeña definición acá, let's talk about the structure. Ahora bien, vamos a hablar sobre la estructura. La posición de esa palabrita, you know, the position from that little word into, you know, the sentence. Where that word goes into a sentence. Check this out. This is the structure. We have the structure over here. Look, we got the subject. Recordemos, el subject can be any pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, okay? Or a proper noun. Proper noun like LB, like Xiomara, like William, like Jorge, okay? Like the dog, the cat, 
the park, the enterprise, okay? Todo eso es un subject. Then we have the frequency adverb. Luego del subject, colocamos el frequency adverb, okay? Ahí va posicionado ese adverbio de frecuencia, over there, okay? After that, after the frequency adverb, what it goes? It goes the main verb, the verb that indicates the action, all right? And after the verb, if you want to make the example or the sentence more specific, you can add a complement, okay? So, let's take a look at this example. Check this out. So, Mara, help me out reading this example, please. I always go to my house after work. Thank you, Xiomara. If you take a look over there, always is the, fre is the frequency advert that we have, okay? The one that is in the top, right, of the frequency adverbs. Because the frequency adverbs are categorized, right, are categorized from 100% activities to 0%. 100% represents always, right? What is always? Indica always. Siempre. Exactly. Por eso al principio se le conoce, se, se, le, se le pone como en el top de los frequency adverbs para decir siempre. Un 100%, un 100 ok, y sobre una actividad. Y el último que se categoriza como un 0% es la palabra never. Ok, que sí sería el último frequency adverb. Never. Que ya básicamente cuando usamos never es cuando estamos, listen up, estamos básicamente escribiendo o mencionando una oración en negativo. Let's remember, never is a word negative. It's a negative word. When we use never, basically, what we are doing is a negative sentence. Recuerden que hay palabras que no necesariamente en las oraciones tenemos que llevar un not o un junto con un auxiliar ya sea don't o doesn't, para hacerlo negativo. Cuando usamos never en una, en una oración, ya no hay necesidad de colocar don't o doesn't para hacerla negativa. ¿Ok? Solo la palabra never transforma toda la oración en negativa. Right? So, keep that on mind. So, in that case, we got this one, right? I always go to my house after work. Ah, siempre voy a mi casa después del trabajo. So that is a activity that this person does every day, ¿ok? Entonces aquí muestra la frecuencia con la que esta, esta persona hace esta actividad. Ah, ¿y con qué frecuencia la hace? Ah, con mucha frecuencia, porque está diciendo que siempre, 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 después del trabajo va a la casa, right? So that's an activity that is constantly being done. Another example, check this out. Now, this is the opposite, right? Uh, Julio, Alberto, help me out here in this one. You never do the cross chores. Okay, you never do the chores. 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 Chores, yes. Okay, what is chore, by the way? ¿Alguien me podría decir si conocen esta palabra? Shorts, what is that? Creo que es mandado. Mm, algo así, pero en este caso, chores es básicamente tareas de la casa. Chores. Chores significan tareas de la casa. Como barrer, trapear, limpiar, right? All, all, all that requires the work in the house. So that's chores. Right. Eh, básicamente mandados y se conoce como otra 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 palabra otra palabrita para decir hacer mandados y todo es do errand es esta palabra que les acabo de enviar en el chat errands para hacer mandados si usted dice uh, uh, I do some errands ah, ando haciendo algunos mandados o hago algunos mandados Errands means mandados, okay? Like when you you do you go, right? Yeah, la palabra es diligencias o mandados, okay? That's the one. 
Ok, let's keep going in here. Bien, hasta acá, con el uso de estas dos palabras, como frequency words, como frequency adverbs, uh, ¿estamos bien hasta acá? ¿O hay alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que, que no esté del todo claro? Obviamente ya vamos a verlas todas. Yo les voy a presentar una tabla que ustedes tienen en el manual, en el cual están todas, todas y cada uno de los frequency uh, adverbs eh, que son conocidos. Any question? Any question? Okay, cool. Let's move. Let's continue. Okay, take a look at this. This is the chart I was talking about. Esto ustedes lo tienen en el manual, right? If you go to, to that page over there at the beginning of unit two, you will find this out over there. It says, use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. And you got the most common frequency adverbs over here. Ustedes se preguntarán por qué están eh, del 100% al 0% porque cada una de ellas representa un porcentaje, ¿ok? ¿Con qué frecuencia se hace, ok? Cuando estamos hablando de actividades, all right? If you take a look in there, a hundred percent is represented by always, ¿ok? Always, como básicamente su traducción lo dice, siempre, right? Always. So, that one is in the top. Significa que... Cuando mencionamos actividades usando la palabra always, es básicamente todas esas actividades que ustedes siempre hacen a diario, que prácticamente hacemos todos los días. Ok, so that represents always. And we have an example over there. Right, uh, let me see, Julio Cesar, help me read the example, please, using always. I always get up at five o'clock. Ah, ok. That's an activity that we generally do, right? Entonces, esa es una actividad que se hace prácticamente todos los días, ok? Básicamente, no. ustedes, cuando mencionan la hora en la que se levantan para ir a trabajar, ustedes no se levantan, ¿qué? Si se levantan a las cinco un día, no se van a levantar a las seis otro día, o a las siete el siguiente, o a las tres el siguiente. Siempre tienen una misma hora, right? You know, to wake up. Entonces, ahí es cuando podemos usar la palabra always, right? To say 100% that activity is being done every single day. After that, we got usually. Usually. That's the correct pronunciation for that word. Usually. That's the 90%, right? Este es cuando básicamente hacemos casi siempre una actividad pero no indica que todos los días o constantemente se hace, sino que, digamos, hay una constancia, pero que no es de todos los días. All right? So that's usually, usualmente. Right? Carlos Gamero, help me a read in the example, please. He usually drives to work. Thank you, mister. He usually drives to work. ¿Qué significa eso? Ah, él usualmente maneja, ¿ok? Ah, hacia el trabajo. Significa que de toda la semana, los seis días de trabajo, probablemente cinco días va en carro o maneja el trabajo, ¿right? Y uno puede, probablemente se ve en bus, ¿right? So in that case, that's what represents this word. Let's remember. Usually represents the 90% of frequency in activities. After that, we have normally, normally, right? That's the one, normally. In that case, normally, it's basically represented by an 80%, right? An 80% from this one. Normally. Yeah, normally. That's the pronunciation, she, normally. She normally checks ships in my... Uh, her her email actually her email right in that case she normally checks her email ah ella normalmente uh, revisa su email or su correo right so in that case we can put it that way right so there is another one that we can use in there hay otra que podemos usar también 
eh, para sustituir normally. La voy a poner acá. Generally. Es otra que podemos colocar en sustitución normally. Generally. Generalmente. ¿Ok? Entonces, y que también representa eh, el mismo porcentaje okay, de frecuencia. In that case. Entonces, podemos decir ahí en la misma oración. She generally checks her email. And there is no problem. Why? Because it's basically the same amount of, of percentage in uh, the aspect of activities. Right? That one. Then we have with a 70% the word often. Often. Often means like a menudo. Right? Remember. A menudo. Often. That's the one. Uh, Veronica, tell me a reading the example from this. I often have breakfast at work. Thank you. All right, it says I often have breakfast at work, right? Ah, a menudo desayuno en el trabajo. What does it mean? Ah, que no todo el tiempo lo hace, pero, okay, a menudo lo suele hacer, right? That's what happens in this case. Now, with 50%, like in the middle, we got sometimes. Sometimes. What is sometimes? Does somebody know what is sometimes? A veces. A veces. Perfect. A veces. That's what it means. Very good. So, and we got the example over here. Check this out. Uh, Michelle, tell me a reading. Uh, she sometimes uses the microwave. Uh, the microwave. Microwave. ¿Qué es eso? Microwave, <laughs> microwave, microondas, horno microondas. Okay. Yeah, me, microwave. That's that's microondas, right? She sometimes uses the microwave. Ah, ella a veces usa el microondas. You see? That's the one, right? And it represents the 50%. Let's remember that. Okay? Now, from 50% to 30%, occasionally. Listen, occasionally, all right? What is occasionally? Occasionally. Occasionalmente. Exactly, yes. right? Occasionalmente or in occasiones, right? That's the one that represents. Let's remember. That's a 30% of activities or, or frequency, in this case, being done with this type of words, right? Uh, Jose Edgar, tell me a reading the example, please. Uh, I occasionally work overtime. Ah, okay, thank you. I occasionally work overtime, right? Ah, en ocasiones, ah, hago tiempo extra, por así decirlo, right? O horas extras, por así decirlo, right? That's overtime, let's remember. And then we have a 10% seldom. Seldom is represented by a 10%. What is seldom? Do you know what is seldom? Como casi nunca, José. Rara vez. Rara vez, casi nunca. Yeah, I mean, like, like when you do an activity, but it's not, it's not, it's not like, you know, with frequency, right? That's like very, very, very mm, not usable when you're doing this, the, the activities using this word, right? Yeah, I mean, in that case, it's like raramente, raras veces, right? When you do that activity. That's a 10% of frequency. For example, Wendy, help me out reading the example over there. We seldom take calls at work. Ah, okay, very good. We seldom take calls at work, right? Ah, raras veces tomamos llamadas en el trabajo. Right, this is like when you don't do an activity with a lot of frequency, right? Cool. And on five percent, we have hardly ever or rarely. Listen, hardly ever, hardly ever, or rarely. Both of them represents basically the five percent of frequency. Okay, basically, it's like. 
almost nothing, right? Almost nothing. Jorge, help me read in the example from there. Jorge. Uh, Are you there, Jorge? He readily has confidence. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. He readily has confidences, or he hardly ever has confidence, right? Let's remember hardly ever and readily. Básicamente, hardly ever es casi nunca, right? That's the translation that we got. Hardly ever, casi nunca. Okay, rarely, raras veces. To, to, to put it this way, right? Raras veces o casi nunca. Both of them represents the 5% of frequency when talking about activities. And the one that represents the 0%, we got never, never, right? And we have the example over there, Gilberto. Tell me a reading the example. He, he ha, using uh, never, using never, Gilberto. The last one. I never, I never mm -hmm. get. That's correct. That I, I never get light to work. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you. I never get light to work. Ah. Nunca llego tarde al trabajo, right? So, en este caso, es una actividad que prácticamente no se hace o no hay frecuencia para esta actividad, right? So, in that case, it's like when we use from 100% to 0% these type of frequency words or frequency adverbs, as everybody called them. All right, cool. Any question with this? ¿Alguna pregunta con relación a estas frequency words? Any question? Never, casi no significa Never means nunca. Nunca. Okay. Perfect. So we got it that way. So si no tenemos ninguna pregunta que añadir, ninguna duda. Muy bien. Vamos a avanzar entonces. Let's continue. We got some examples over here, all right? Let's take a look at some examples that we can we can share. Let's just start over. Cindy, help me out reading this one, please. Um, Sarah always always goes goes out, goes out on Saturday evenings. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Take a look at that. Sara always goes out on Saturday evenings. Right? Ah, Sara siempre sale los sábados por la noche. Right? So in that case, that's an activity that this person does every Saturday. Right? Ah, esta es una actividad que se hace, ok, ella hace en este caso todos los sábados. Right? So this is like the frequency that we're talking about, right? Cool. Second example, Soila. James, boyfriend, boy usually pick, picks her up from work. Okay, very good. James, boyfriend, usually picks her up from work, right? Ah, el novio de James usualmente la recoge en el trabajo. Right? Picks her up, it means recoger. Ah, we got another one over here. Ah, uh, let's see. Jonathan, help me already. Ben, I am an Austin girl for noise to to Together. Head. Together. Together. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, Ben and Emma often go for lunch together. Check this out. In este caso, ya estamos hablando de dos personas, right? Estamos hablando de Ben. Estamos hablando de Emma, right? Entonces, debido a eso, el verbo principal permanece en forma base, ¿ok? Sin sufrir 
ningún tipo de modificación. ¿A qué me refiero con esto? Si ven, el verbo go está en forma base. Why is it in base form? Because we are talking about Ben and we are talking about Emma. Okay? If you take a look in the rest of the examples, si ven en, la, en, en los otros ejemplos, el verbo go está modificado para tercera persona. ¿Ok? Goes con ES. ¿Por qué? Porque acá estoy hablando de Sara nada más. Recordemos, cuando ya mencionamos una tercera persona, si dijéramos acá Sara o she, el verbo, este subject modifica básicamente este, este verbo. ¿Ok? Y ahí no importa si estamos usando una frequency word. Si ven, tenemos always en medio. Pero eso no quiere decir que no vayamos a modificar el verbo en tercera persona. O sea que el verbo siempre se modifica si estamos hablando en tercera persona. Right? Why? Because this is simple present. Let's remember. Okay? This is just for you to take it into account. Let's continue. All right, we got a next example. Uh, let's see, someone who has not participated that much. Xiomara, help me a reading, please. I frequently play soccer. Okay, thank you. I frequently play soccer. Ah, frecuentemente juego fútbol. That's another example that we can include over here, right? Good. Is there another one? Yes. We got another one over here. Uh, let's see. Juan Campos, are you there? Can you help yes, me? I'm here. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Help me out reading the last example, please. Okay. I frequently play soccer. Ah, the next one, the next one, the last one. They usually send text messages. Ah, okay, thank you, mister. They usually send text messages. If you take a look in there, so we can use these type of positive statements with any of the pronouns that we can know or proper nouns in the, you know, like the sequence is the same, right? The sequence is the same. Depending on the action that you're going to do, that's going to be the, the, the way how you are going to write this type of things, okay? But let's remember, the structure, the position, It's always the same. Recuerden que la posición de la frequency, del frequency adverb siempre va a ser después del subject. Siempre, siempre, siempre después del subject. ¿Okay? Va entre el subject y el verbo principal. Va en medio. Se lo digo así. All right? That's the position. All right. Cool. Now, taking a look to those examples, do you have any question? Ahora que ya hemos visto esos ejemplos, ¿tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta? Something? No? Okay, cool. If we don't have any question, let's start doing the examples by ourselves. Vamos entonces a comenzar a ah, viendo algunos ejemplos por nosotros mismos. ¿Qué son esas actividades que ustedes, like, siempre hacen? Que en algunas veces hacen o que nunca hacen. Listen up. Vamos a hacer así, como son varios frequency words y la práctica de todos ellos lo vamos a ver eh, después de las, de las nueve, all right? In the second hour. Ahora lo que quiero es que personalmente me digan, me mencionen una actividad que ustedes siempre hacen, todos los días, usando always. Una actividad que ustedes hagan usando sometimes, el 50%. ¿Qué significa eso? Que de la semana ustedes la hagan unos tres tres o cuatro días, por así decirlo. Y una actividad usando never. Algo que ustedes nunca hagan, hacen. Una usando always, una usando sometimes, y una usando never. Right? Three examples. Let's do it. Let me know when you finish, so you can start reading them, okay? Let's do it. Let's remember, this is personal. Ahorita las vamos a hacer así, personal, right? Por nosotros mismos. Okay, let's do it. And let me know when you finish. Finish, teacher. Perfect, Carlos. Let's wait for your classmate to finish.
Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. Finish t-shirt. Okay. Finish t-shirt. All right, perfect. So let's wait for a couple of more of you and let's start. Okay, perfect. Let's start over. Let's start over. Carlos, uh, Chavez. Let's start. I'm gonna start with you, man. Can you please read your example? <laughs> Okay, the first one is, I always spend my time with my daughter. Okay, the very good. Time, uh, the I sometimes visit my family. Very good. Uh, I never eat uh, a tolchuco. Yeah. You don't like, man? You don't like it? I don't like it, teacher. Yes, man, and that's, that's, that's delicious. But it's okay, man, it's okay. Cool. That's all. Teacher. All right, perfect. Al menos no dijo pupusas, man. <laughs> Hubo un estudiante que me dijo una vez en un módulo, teacher, I never eat pupusas. Like, ¿por qué le digo? Ah, guay. No me gustan las pupusas. Man. Yo. Very strange. <laughs> yeah, man, that was weird. That was extremely weird. All right, thank you, Carlos. Uh, let's see. Elby, let's read yours. I, I always take a shower. <laughs> okay. I sometimes go, go, go for a wall. Go, 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 go for a wall. Okay, very good. I never sleep in my work. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. Thank you, Elby. Somebody else that has finished? William? Yeah, I always drive to work every day. Okay, drive, sin ese, ¿verdad? I drive, uh -huh, I drive. Very good. Uh, I sometimes eat hamburger in the week. Okay, very good. Uh, I never work Sunday. I never? Work Sunday. On Sundays? On Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right, very good. I never work on Sundays. Very nice. Who's next? ¿Alguien más que ha terminado? Ok. Go, Salia. I always get up at 4 a.m. Ok. I, I sometimes work off my house. On my house. Ok. Uh -huh. I never eat sushi because I don't like. Ah, ok. Very good. You don't like sushi. No. Me creerá si le digo que nunca he probado sushi. Never. I don't know what it's saying. Mejor, teacher, ni se le vaya a ocurrir. Es horrible. <laughs> really? It's really. Ya me dio esa curiosidad. Ay, no, eso es horrible. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. We're going to try it out. All right. Thank Vamos you, Zoila. Vamos a lo come. A ver, échelo. Ya me, bueno, dio, ya me dio curiosidad, man. All right, Jonathan. Let's, let's read yours. I had, I had to at the four in the morning to work. Ah, uh, but that's I always get up. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Second uh, example. I often to music every day. I often listen to music. Huh. Uh, okay, all right. You 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 were using often. Okay, now give me one with never. Uh, I never skip the classes. Now, okay, you never skip the classes. That's true. Very good, Jonathan. Thank you. All right, somebody else. Yo teacher. Okay, cool. Go, Cindy. I always get up at four a.m. Okay. I. I sometimes exercise. Very and good. I never, I never eat seafood. 
Pele, you don't like seafood? Ah, uh, yeah, no me gusta. Okay. <laughs> Man, that's weird. That's weird. Es raro, but, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Man, that's 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 super weird. But anyways, it's okay. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, who else? Somebody else has finished. Turn on the microphone, please, and let me let me. Me. Read. All right, cool. Xiomara, go on. I always drink enough water. Okay, very good. I sometimes eat cookies, okay. and I never eat garlic. You never eat garlic. No. Ah, man, garlic. Yeah. Uh, the garlic is good when you use it in the food because it gives you flavor and everything, right? Porque le da sabor a la comida and everything, pero mascar un ajo <laughs> es arruinar la comida. This, this is for the whole, the whole food. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I agree on that. Thank you, miss. Thank you for okay. your, your answer. All right, cool. Somebody else? Okay, Julio Alberto. And then Juan Campos. Okay. I always drive to work. Okay. I sometimes eat fish. Very good. I never eat nonsense. <laughs> okay, cool. Nances. Man, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, no, es ok. Es el mismo. Ok. Ok, nice. Ah, uh, Juan. Ok. Uh, I always come late at my house to my, to my work. Very good. Sometimes I visit my parents. Uh, I sometimes. Then, I, some, sometimes. I sometimes. Yeah. Very good. I sometimes. Then I never taste uh, at all. How do you say? It's at the same. All. At all. It's the same. At all sugar. It's a proper name. Yeah. It's a proper name. I told you. Ah, you, you are with. Okay. Uh, you are like likely similar Person. to Carlos, man. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Juan. Yeah. Okay. Now, Jose and then Karen. Jose Edgar, are you there? Uh, see, I usually drive to work. Very good. I sometimes use they, they microwave. Microwave, microwave? Okay. Microwave. <laughs> microwave. Cool. I hardly ever in BC. I hardly ever in BC. Visit or in BC? BC. Ah, I am hardly ever BC. Ah, okay. No lleva in. Eh, es que como dice ocupado, ¿verdad? No. O sea, bicicleta, pues. <laughs> Man, okay, that's bicycle. Okay, ah, pero ahí, oh. le, falta, pero ahí le faltaría el verbo, eh, Edgar. Sería, Ajá. I, I hardly ever. Ajá. Y luego el verbo sería ride. Ah, right. Ride a bicycle. Ah, como que casi nunca man, eh, eh, monto una bicicleta. Eso quiso poner. Ajá. Ok, sí. sería, sería así, mire. I hardly. Ever ride a bicycle? Bicycle, like this. Oh, yes. Ah, okay. Este verbo ride se utiliza más que todo para andar en bicicleta, motocicleta o a caballo. Okay. Entonces, no decimos. Okay. Cuando, de, cuando decimos de conducir una, una moto, igual no decimos drive, decimos ride, ¿ok? That's the one, just for you to take it into account. All right, let's continue. Bien, continuemos entonces. 
Thank you for your example, Mr. Yes, right. Let's continue. Cut it. Okay, okay. Good. Okay. I always prepare breakfast for my family. Very good. I sometimes drink soda. Nice. And I never play any sports. <laughs> okay. Any <laughs> sport. Any sport. No chess, no checkers. Nothing. Okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. Uh, somebody else that has finished? Yo. Okay, Wendy, go. I, I always drive to my work. I sometimes do exercise on Sunday. Good. And I never cook. You never cook? No. <laughs> no, I was there. <laughs> Come on, man. Who cooks? Who cooks in your house? Mi mama. Ah, your mom. Sí. Your mom. I told you we're married. You're not married. Eh, no. Ah, okay, that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Nice, Wendy. Cool. Somebody else? Más que Yo teacher. Okay, cool. Jorge. I sometimes go to play soccer. I never drink coffee. Really? Okay. Uh, example. <laughs> okay. Uh, I always go to my job. Uh, 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 esa última pongámosla como con never. Ah, okay. Right? As an example, you yeah. know. Uh, good. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you, Jorge. You did a good. Uh, somebody else? Michelle, Yo. okay, Michelle. After Michelle, let's get ready, Carlos Gamero. Pero no sé si están bien, teacher. Okay, ya vamos a saber si estamos bien. Vaya, right. la pregunta sería, I I'll always make up in my work. Mm, I always make up in, okay, all right, that's acceptable. Siempre me maquillo, está bien. <risa> Bye. Ah, ah ma de maquillar, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, leave it like that. It's ok, it's ok. Podríamos usar otro verbo también, como I always use makeup in my work, but it's ok. Your example is ok. All right, continue. Vaya. Eh, I us usually type, no sé si type está bien, que es como digital. Digital, exacto. To type report in the afternoon. En la oh, tarde, no. Ok, sí. very good, in the afternoon. No, nice. no I no, never eat remolacha, no, no, no. pero no sé cómo se dice. You never eat that? That one? Really? You don't like, you don't like it? No, no me gusta. You? Why not? Man, no, no. that's delicious. ¿Cómo se escribe? ¿Y cómo se escribe en inglés? Remolacha. No, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to send it. Reboot. Actually. Reboot. Oh, yes. Es horrible eso. Why? No. No. Delicious. Exactly. No. <laughs> Delicious with lemon. Yes, man. Por si le quiere dar indicios de anemia, ahí queda la anemia. Man. Ay, sí, porque no me gusta. ¿Eh? No, nah, man, that's nice, that's the best thing. Vaya, y la última, I sometimes drink milk. No, ok, I sometimes drink milk. There you go. Thank you, Michelle. Ok, thank you. Carlos. Let's go, Carlos. I always get up at 6 a.m. Ah, okay, very good. I sometimes drink, drink a cup of coffee in the afternoon. Ah, okay, very good. I never had animals. Ah, okay, you have never had animals? Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Carlos. All right, who else is missing? Hmm. I got the feeling that somebody else is missing. Julio Cesar, right? Yeah, man, uh -huh. you haven't. You haven't said yet. Okay, cool. Uh, Go, man. Uh, I always clean my house every day. 
Ah, ok, very good. Uh, I often, como era, I often shower and my dog. Ah, uh, ok, shower my dog. Very good. Uh, I never run at my, at my work. Ok, you never run in your work. Very good. Perfect. Let me see, who else is missing? Ya todos participamos, ¿cierto? Let me see. Yeah, Jose. Jose Pineda, did you participate already? Yes. Okay, ah. yo. Ah, Ivania. Okay, Ivania. Let's read yours. I always brush my teeth. Okay. I never fight with my friend. With my friends, okay. I sometimes drive the car of my cousin. <clears throat> ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Ivania. Veronica, did you participate already? No. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, right. uh -huh. Okay. Good. Hi, always listen to music at work. Okay. I sometimes watch horror movies. Very I good. never walk to my work. Ah, okay, perfect. You never walk to your work. Very good. All right, perfect. I think most of you have already participated. Creo que ya todos participamos. So, in that case, let's move on with the information that we're going to have, okay? Bien, continuamos entonces con lo que, con lo que tenemos. Questions. Ahora bien, vamos a identificar. Ahora, right, ya sabemos. Let me see. Gilberto, did you participate? No. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Está bien calladito, ¿verdad? Va, read it. Eh, number one. Ajá. I often watch TV. Ah, ok, very good. Eh, mm, I, I sometimes drink uh -huh. chocolate. Ah, ok, very good. Mm, I never cook in the house. Ah, okay, you never cook in the house. Perfect, Gilberto. You did it excellent. Cool. Ahora bien, ya estuvimos viendo cómo hacer oraciones positivas, ok, like usando always, usually, sometimes, bla, 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 y oraciones negativas. Let's remember, ¿cómo creamos oraciones negativas con los frequency adverbs? Usando never. Let's remember, usando never. Esas son las oraciones negativas. Ok, now, If we got positive statements and negative statements, now let's jump into question forms, ¿ok? Ahora bien, veamos cómo crear preguntas, ¿ok? Eh, que indiquen frecuencia. This is, this is going to be look, looking like kind of familiar, familiar to you because we saw this structure already. Check this out. It says, questions are generally made using how often. Las preguntas que generalmente, ¿ok? O la estructura que generalmente se usa para formar preguntas que indiquen frecuencia, por lo general siempre las vamos a comenzar con how often. How often. Esa es la, la, es la base de la pregunta. How often. ¿Qué significa how often? Ah, significa ¿Qué tan a menudo o qué tan frecuentemente? ¿Ok? Eso, es, eso significa how often. That's what it means. So, let's take a look at the structure. Check this out. Check this structure. We've got how often plus do or does. Let's remember, depending on the subject, that's the way if you're going to use who or if you are going to use does. ¿Ok? Depending on the subject. And then after the subject, what do we got? Ah, after the subject, we got the main verb, the one that indicates the action, right? And then we have a complement to make the, sent the question more specific. So we got the structure over there, right? How often plus do or does plus subject plus main verb plus complement plus question mark, right? So basically this is the structure that we have to ask questions about frequency, right? And we have one example over here. Examples, it says. Wendy, help me out reading this question. 
How often do you eat in a restaurant? Okay, thank you, Wendy. How often do you eat in a restaurant? Ah, ¿qué tan a menudo o qué tan frecuente comes en un restaurante? Right? That's basically what we want to say in this question. Jorge Alberto, read the answer. I sometimes eat in a restaurant. Okay, thank you, Jorge. I sometimes eat in a restaurant. It says, ah, a veces como en un restaurante, right? So we are indicating in there the frequency, okay, in which we do this activity. Good. So take a look at this question. Let me see who can help me read this one. Carlos Chavez. Teacher, una consulta. Ah, eh... tell me. Give me one second, Carlos. Ajá. Para, la, para la respuesta de las preguntas siempre vamos a usar un adverbio. Yes, siempre vamos a usarlo porque el adverbio nos indica con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos esa actividad. En la pregunta, how often, básicamente le preguntan a Ico ¿qué frecuen, con qué frecuencia usted hace eso. Y usted, dependiendo de la frecuencia en la que haga, así va a ser el, el adverbio que va a usar. Ok, yeah. thank you. All right, perfect. En algunas ocasiones, si queremos ser bien específicos, usamos eh, cantidades. ¿Se acuerdan de las, de las preguntas con Jameni? Por lo general, eh, cuando mencionamos actividades bien específicas, si queremos mencionarlas, uh, ¿cuántas veces las hacemos? Podemos inclusive hacer eso. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, uh, How often do you take a shower a day? Okay, ¿Con qué frecuencia se, eh, se baña? Ah, usted puede decir, I take a shower twice a day, for example. Ah, me baño dos veces al día. Okay, también es aceptable, pero como en este caso estamos más que todos enfocados en los cómo usar los frequency adverbs, nos vamos a ir por esa secuencia. Okay? Más que todo mencionar con qué frecuencia lo hacemos, usando los frequency adverbs. All right. Good. Eh, no sé si me de entender, Michelle. Sí, teacher. Okay, thank you. Cool. Carlos, help me a reading, please. Okay, teacher. How often does she visit her in-laws? Okay, thank you. How often does she visit her in-laws? Okay, cool. Soy la. Se refiere a su, su cedro, ¿verdad? Exactly. La familia de, de, ya sea la familia de la esposa o la familia del esposo, right? Yeah. Okay. se refiere. Cool. Soy la de answer. She, she fre frequently. Okay, listen, listen. She <laughs> frequently. She frequently uh -huh. visits her in law. Ah, okay, thank you. She frequently visits her in law, right? Ah, ella frecuentemente visita a sus a la familia de, de, de su esposo, por así decirlo, right? O a sus suegros, as you want to call them, right? That's, that's the way. Good. So this is the way how we create this type of questions, right? Cool. With this, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a la estructura de cómo formular preguntas, cómo responder, like, do you have any question with this? Something that is not exactly clear for you? Algo que no esté del todo claro para ustedes? Teacher. Yes? Solamente el how often se va a utilizar para pregunta. Yeah, mostly is how often. Esa es la pregunta central, exactly. Para decir con qué frecuencia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Okay, no? Perfect. Did you copy the, the, the questions, example? ¿Copiaron los ejemplos? ¿O le tomaron captura? Whatever you want to say. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Bien, voy a dejar de compartir un momento porque voy a pasar la segunda asistencia. Just give me one second, okay? So then we're going to continue with this. Ooh, let me see. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, teacher. nice. Cindy Melanie. Hello, teacher. Okay, cool. Uh, Elvi Quintanilla. Present, teacher. Very good. Stephanie Michel. Present. Perfect. Gustavo Adolfo. Yeah, he's in a 
she's not here. Uh, 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 Ivania Jamilet. Yes, sir. Okay, nice. Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Perfect. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, perfect. Jose Edgar. Jose Edgar, are you there? Present. Ah, okay. Good. Let's see. Juan Emanuel. Present. Ah, okay, great. Let me see. Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, Julio Cesar. Present. Very good. Karen Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Luis Gerardo. All right, Luis Gerardo is not here. Uh, Veronica Arely. Present. Very good. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay. William Ernesto. Present. Okay, excellent. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, cool. Luis Jonathan. Present, teacher. Very nice. Carlos Jose. I hear this impression. Excellent. And Soyla Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Cool. Let's continue with the things that we got. Uh, let's 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 finish the presentation actually okay now questions activities cool ahora que ya hemos comprendido cómo formular preguntas now we know how to ask questions how to make positive statements and how to make negative statements using frequency adverbs now let's do this short activity what this activity is about check this out i have a series of questions in here that I do really want you to discuss with your pairs. We're gonna do this in pairs. It's gonna be seven, seven, seven uh, questions. Take a look at this. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas. Listen. Quiero que me copien estas preguntas y estas preguntas ustedes se las van a hacer con las personas que ustedes estén trabajando. All right? Si Carlos trabaja con Gilberto, Carlos le va, le va a hacer las preguntas a Gilberto. Like, how often do you go to church? So, Gilberto le va a dar la respuesta. How often does she have meetings? All right. Él le va a dar respuesta. Luego, Gilberto se las va a leer a Carlos y Carlos, pues, va a dar su punto, ¿ok? Entonces, la idea acá es que cada uno va a tener sus respuestas diferentes a estas preguntas, ¿ok? That's the idea. That's the idea, all right? But in here, mostly, the idea is for you to practice the type of answers, ¿ok? Cool. I think for this question, for this type of activity, we are not going to like stop that much. Let me see. Creo que en 10 minutos lo hacemos, right? Y van a ser sencillas las, las respuestas. Like you don't need that much time for, to, to, to spend with this conversation. Y luego vamos a, vamos a tratar una pequeña conversación. Vamos a practicar, right? Uh, directamente en el manual. Cool. Uh, no sé si ya le tomaron captura o ya terminaron de, de anotar las preguntas. Did you do it? No, todavía no. Okay. No, 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 okay. no. ok, ok, let's do it. Copienlo, me lo hacen saber para luego formar los grupos, ok? Formar las parejas. Okay. The ones that, we, that you're going to be working with. Che, yes. Las dos últimas se refieren a una tercera persona. Las respondemos también así. How often does Roxana say report? Yes. Okay. Ahí va a mencionar ya sea she o mencionar el nombre propio. ¿Ok? Cool. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. De... Son seis, ¿verdad? Siete. Siete. O oh, déjeme ver, a ver, dos. Seis. Dos, seis son. Ajá. Ah, pues sí, es que borré una. De actividades de nosotros, ¿va? Ah, cuando es cuando es primera persona, sí, es de usted. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan a usted, How often do you go to church? Sí, ahí ya su respuesta va a ser personal. I sometimes go to church. 
I never go to church. I always go to church. Ahí va a ser suya, propia, ¿ok? Teacher. Yes. Eh, la quinta, ahí sería el nombre de la persona que se le va a preguntar. Let me see. Like, Ajá, puede ser el nombre o recuerde que en la respuesta bien se puede sustituir el nombre por el pronombre. Puede ser, puede iniciar con she, no hay ningún problema. Ok. Yeah. Ok, cool. Let's go to practice. Give me one second. Creo que ya terminamos de anotar, ¿cierto? Bueno, ahora voy a eh, formar las, las parejas. Give me one second. For you to go to work. Many are you? Ah, you're 20 right now. Ideas. Ok, vamos a quedar cabales de dos en dos. Le digo. No, ok, cool. Now, let's go to work. Ok, vámonos entonces a trabajar. Like, let's practice those questions. Using appropriately the frequency adverb. Cindy, are you there? Hello. Cindy. Do you listen to me, Cindy? Okay, I think she joined the group. Let me see. Oh, yeah, she's joined now. In este caso, usted dígame la es primera persona. Entonces, la respuesta es directa. Yo le respondí a usted. I always go to the church, ¿verdad? Entonces yo okay. respondí que entonces usted la va a pasar a, a tercera persona, ¿verdad? Mi respuesta. Igual yo sí, la suya. Que... <risa> Teacher. Ajá. Sí, es verdad que, por ejemplo, el compañero eh, Carlos me, me dio su respuesta, que es uh, I always eh, go to the church entonces yo, yo eh, así, la voy a, así la voy a escribir tal cual o la voy a pasar a segunda persona no, listen, listen, listen ahorita básicamente lo que van a hacer es practicar practicarlas ¿eh? vaya Pero en este caso usted lo que va a hacer es escribirme esa oración ok en tercera persona Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. That one is going to be in third person. Entonces, si él le dice a usted, I always go to church. Usted solamente, escuche bien, no me va a escribir la pregunta, Julio. Ok. Uh -huh. Cool. Sino que simplemente lo que van a hacer es, vaya, mire, para que se les haga más fácil. Ok, se les haga más fácil. Hagan las respuestas de las preguntas personalmente. Ok. Usted, okay. Julio, haga las suyas, Carlos, haga las de él. Luego, ustedes háganse las preguntas. Ok, dependiendo de lo que Carlos le diga, usted va a notar la pregunta de Carlos, la respuesta de Carlos en tercera persona. Ok, ajá, pero ajá. ya como una oración afirmativa nada más. Ok, ah, ya no okay. como respuesta a pregunta. Ok. Gracias, Ticho. Ahí va. Ok. Eso era lo que... <laughs>
how this how often how, how often does she help Mary? Ahí como eh, qué tan algunas um, ¿Cuántas veces? ¿Cuántas veces? Cuánta vez, cuánta vez, ah, como con frecuencia, Pia. Uh -huh. Yo puse, I always have meetings. Todo, casi todos los días. <risa> Ajá, digamos. ¿Y usted cómo lo... Listen, 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 listen. Das... Así como lo están haciendo, that's, that's, that's fine, that's right, ¿ok? That's Hola. Fine. Hello, listen. Vaya, Stephanie, en su caso, Michelle, usted uh -huh. puede hacer las respuestas a esas uh -huh. preguntas, ¿ok? Usando su criterio propio, en algunas cuando son primera persona. Gilberto, que haga uh -huh. las de él, ¿all right? Usando criterio uh, personal. Luego, usted, Michelle, le puede preguntar a Gilberto. Gilberto le va a dar una respuesta, ¿ok? A esa pregunta. Y usted uh -huh. me va a escribir esa respuesta que Gilberto le dé como una oración afirmativa pero ya usando la tercera persona. ¿Ok? Mm. ¿Sí me comprende? O sea que si yo digo, I sometimes, en el caso de él sería, he sometimes. She sometimes. Si él me la dice. Ah. Si, usted le ah, dice okay. si usted le dice, I sometimes go to church, él va a notar, she sometimes go to church. Ah, ok. Ok, porque yo okay. cuando ya les esté preguntando, yo las preguntas se las voy a hacer en tercera persona, aunque ahí estén en primera persona, ¿ok? Ok, ok, está bien. Ah, pues Perfecto. tenemos que contestarla. Exacto, mm -hmm. esta es igual, o sea, contesten las primero a criterio propio, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, okay. Ay, güey. Ajá, entonces no sé si vos casi nunca vas a poner o, o always, porque vos siempre lavas tu ropa, ¿cómo está la Ay, güey, sí, sí. Yo no, sino que la lavadora va. Entonces, bueno, la verdad es bueno lavar. Güey. Sí, pues en ese caso, ¿no? How often does Hello. he do the laundry? Hello, ¿cómo vamos acá? Hola, buenas. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Aquí traduciendo, how often does he do the laundry? Ah, okay. Entonces, ¿Qué, esto es. Están a menudo este lavar la ropa. Este, o, o la máquina lo hace. Ah, ah, cuando dice así, cuando do the laundry es básicamente cuando lava la ropa en una lavadora. Oh, ok, Ajá, eso estamos. Sí. Duda estamos teniendo. Ya de cuando se lava a mano es wash eh, your clothes. Wash, Ajá, de lavar. Así es. Okay. así es, ah, pues sí. Exactly, right. Let's remember. Primero, recuerden, a criterio propio, usted va a responder, ok, las preguntas en primera persona usando lo propio, ok. Y en la pregunta dice, Carlos, por ejemplo, how often do you go to church? Usted va a decir, ah, I always go to church. Si sí, siempre va. I sometimes go to church. Si sí, algunas veces va. Probablemente sí. José diga, I never go to church. Pero ya hay esa, sí. esa respuesta y es personal. Ok. Al momento de la práctica, cuando usted, uh -huh. Carlos, le pregunte a, 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 a José, how often do you go to church? Ahí él le va a dar la respuesta y usted lo único que va a hacer es anotarle esa respuesta que él le dé, pero en tercera persona. Ya como una oración okay. positiva. Si Carlos okay. le dice, I sometimes go to church, usted va a poner, ah, he sometimes goes to church. Ok, no sé si me han entendido. Que ahorita las pueden ir respondiendo a criterio personal. Uh, sí, así la vamos Exacto. haciendo ahorita. Exacto. Uh -huh. Al momento de la práctica, cuando se pregunten, sí. usted va a escribir la respuesta de José, pero en tercera persona, y José uh -huh. la suya. Ok. okay. Cool. Y en la, entonces en esta, en esta ocasión de las otras que están hablando de ella. Cuando, exacto, ahí cuando ya son en tercera persona, ahí sí, uh -huh. una sola, una sola. Uh -huh. Ya Porque ahí aquí es... solo sería una sola. Porque como ya estamos hablando de alguien más, por ejemplo, uh -huh. la segunda dice, How often does she have meetings? ¿Qué tan uh -huh. a menudo ella tiene reuniones? Ahí una sola, una sola pregunta para ambos, una sola uh -huh. respuesta para ambos. O uh -huh. lo quieren hacer a criterio propio. Si uno usa, una usa, uno usa always y el otro general, por así decirlo, no hay problema. Ajá, igual que casi todos tienen terceras personas ya. 
exactly. Hay varias, hay uh -huh. bastantes en tercera persona. Sí, esa es así. Ajá, esa es así, ya no hay necesidad de pasarlas uh -huh. a tercera persona precisa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ya las tenemos. Nice. Uh -huh. nice. Okay. Hello, ¿cómo vamos acá? Hello. Bien. Bien. ¿Ya están terminando las, las preguntas? Yes. Ya terminamos. Ya terminamos. All right, cool. Bien, ¿ya las terminaron de manera personal, cierto? Yes, the, uh, the way personal answer. Nice. Said. Ok, cool, perfect. Now, listen up. <coughs> Now, let's switch it. Ahora, si ya las terminaron, Xiomara, quiero que usted le haga esas preguntas eh, de primera persona, por lo general, a Juan. Y cuando Juan le dé la respuesta, usted me va a escribir una oración positiva de esa respuesta. Usted me, va, me la va a hacer en oración positiva en tercera persona. Ejemplo, Xiomara. Si usted le pregunta a Juan, Juan, how often, listen up, how often do you go to church? ¿Qué tan a menudo va a la iglesia? Ahí si él le dice, I frequently go to church. Usted me va a colocar, Xiomara. He frequently goes to church. Mm, ok. Ok. Cool. Yes. Esa es esa parte de, lo, de las respuestas que ya tienen a modo personal, ok. Mm, ok. There you go. Ok. Thank you. Normal. Hello, how do we go here? ¿Cómo vamos acá? Mm. Bien. bien, creemos nosotros que bien. Creemos, dice. Ok, cool, cool. Bien, ahorita les están haciendo a criterio personal, ¿cierto? Like, like the, the, the answers. Sí. Perfect. Uh -huh. Luego, al momento de la práctica, al momento de la práctica, Verónica, si usted le hace las preguntas a Cindy, Cindy les va a mencionar de manera personal, ¿cierto? Sí. Por ejemplo, si usted, Verónica, le pregunta, How often do you uh -huh. go to church? Ella probablemente le diga, I always go to church. Okay? Esa fue su respuesta. Pero ahora uh -huh. bien, quiero que me haga un favor. Usted, Verónica, me va a escribir una oración positiva con esa respuesta. ¿Cómo así? En tercera persona. Me va a decir, she always goes to church. Esa ya es una adicional, pero usando tercera persona. ¿Ok? Yo puse Cindy, sometimes ¿Sí? goes to church. Entonces ahí está. Perfecto. That's what I was es lo que estaba pidiendo. Y las demás también, teacher. En cuando, la son, cuando son en tercera persona, ahí sí no cambia. Ahí sí, ahí sí déjenla. Uh -huh. okay? Ahí sí no hay problema, porque como ya estamos hablando de alguien más. Ok. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, ahí no hay problema. Eso era para las de primera persona. Right. Ok, teacher. Cool. Let's continue the practice. Ok. Nice. Uh -huh. En la dos, entonces queda. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hello, do you finish? Yes. yes. Perfect. Cool. Do you practice? Yes. yes. <laughs> nice. At the moment of the practice, when I ask you guys, the ones that are in first person, you're going to tell me in third person, okay? Yes. Las que están en primera persona, recuerden, las que están en primera persona, cuando yo les pregunte, ustedes me las van a hacer en tercera persona. Okay? Okay. 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 Recuerde, Julio, si usted le preguntó a Karen, how often do you go to church? Y Karen le dijo, I always go to church. Usted me va a decir, ah, she always goes to church. Ok. That's the I one. never guess this. <laughs> <laughs> ok. <laughs> yeah, man, me too. Es cierto. Igual yo, no. man. Same, same as me. Solo cuando uh. hay ocasiones especiales, man, like. Quinceañeras, <laughs> bodas, or things like that. Sí, a ver, comida, back. dice. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's true, that's true. Uh, that's true. That's true. Okay, cool. Okay. So, with you, uh, we are okay. So, just, just practice uh, for a moment. Eh, voy a continuar revisando algunos grupitos más para luego irnos a la sala principal, okay? Okay. okay. Cool. Hello, uh, how are you doing? Usually. Going? He usually, uh, hello. Yeah. I finished the teacher, solamente que yo solo había copiado las, que, como la verdad que son la, son la primera de, de uno, ahí todas son tercera persona. Sí, la gran mayoría son tercera persona. Uh, 
lo que vamos a hacer ahí en esa es que vaya, si usted le pregunta a Ivania, Ivania, how often do you go to church? Ivania le dice, I never go to church. Usted me va a decir a mí, she never goes to church. ¿Sí? Ella me va, me va a contestar y después lo voy a contestar yo. Exactly. Ah, ok. Exactly. Pero en las demás, en las demás nosotros respondimos diferente. Usamos al verbo diferente. Sí, no hay problema. Sí, acuérdense que cada uno tendría, te, tenía que tener sus respuestas diferentes. Uh -huh. Ah, va. Sí, en okay. este caso, el, más que todo con el adverbio. Ya. Es ok. Nice. Ya. Yeah, okay. We have meetings. Meeting is being recorded. Sometimes has meetings. How often do they go to the beach? They occasionally go to the beach. How often does he do the laundry? He often does the laundry. How often does Roxana send reports? Roxana normally send reports. How often Jamilet take care of her son. Jamilet always take care of the uh, hi, occasionally occasionalmente occasionalmente no sería generalmente generalmente she generally Does she generally does take take her her son? Bye. Ah, you're you're doing the last one. Están haciendo la última. Yeah, I finish. Yeah, okay. How often does Jamile take care of her son? Recuerden. She, o Jamilet, cualquiera de las dos es aceptable. She, y luego después de eso, voy el frequency word, right? Ya sea sí, occasionally, no, she... o ya sea never, ya sea sometimes, rarely, cualquiera de, de, de los frequency words, ¿ok? Bueno, estaría Entonces, bien. She generally does take care person. Eliminemos das porque es el auxiliar, ya no va en la respuesta. Ah, sí. Ya no va en la respuesta, ok. Yes. She, she, she often take her person. Ajá, solo que el verbo va con S, recordemos, porque es tercera persona. El verbo take, take. el take se le agrega S. Takes. 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 Exactly. 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 Okay. Todo, todo, toda pregunta que esté en tercera persona se le agrega la S al verbo, recordemos, ¿ok? Ok, dicho. Yeah. Cool. So, you have already finished, right? Uh, en el caso de how often does he do the laundry, podría ser he usually does the laundry. Exactly. That's Porque the one. Está, Exactamente, does. exacto. Porque ya do y ahí se modifica. Very good. Exacto. Very good. Bien, solo reviso una pareja más entonces and then go back, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, teacher. Pero le estás preguntando a él. ¿Con qué frecuencia? Ajá, ajá. ajá. ¿Con qué frecuencia va a, a, la, a lavar su ropa, verdad? Correcto. ¿Qué sería? Él lava su ropa diariamente. ¿Qué sería? They go. They, they... He. Sería he, porque es él. Co correcto, he. Uh -huh. He Entonces, go why. Go no, porque el verbo es tú. Aquí en donde tengo duda yo que le conté que le... Ah, ¿qué question are you doing? Teacher. ¿Qué pregunta están haciendo? Hello. La cuatro. Tengo dudas, teacher. Number four. La cuatro, ah, sí. You are in number four already? Really? Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. He says, <laughs> listen, listen. How often does he do the laundry? Ah, con qué frecuencia él lava su ropa o lava la ropa. Right. Si van a mencionar un 100% que todo el tiempo lo hace, he always does the laundry. Y ahí tienen la respuesta. 
he always does he the laundry. Y das porque como al do en tercera persona se le agrega es, por eso se le coloca das. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. ¿Qué saludo le tenía? Y como dijo, podría ser he always, ahí depende de usted eh, el, ver, el adverbio de frecuencia que le va a poner. Ya sea always, generally, usually, sometimes, never. Ok. Luego das y luego de laundry. Uh -huh. ¿Qué saludo que teníamos? No, ah, ok, cool. Thank you, thank you. All right, what about the other one? ¿Y las otras? Las otras, ¿se decimos aquí? For example, how often does Roxana send reports? ¿Ya la terminaron? Okay. Yes, yes. Nos estábamos con la última, con Edgar. Ah, ok, ok, perfect. Uh -huh. perfect. So what's the last one? Perfect. Ok, cool. Muy bien, okay. entonces, ahora sí, volvamos a la sala principal entonces, ok? Nos faltan dos, nos faltan dos, ¿Cuáles? 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 Cuál es? es que faltan. Es que él me está contestando ahorita. Ah. Le falta la número 6. Ah, eso es una, creo. La número 6. La número 6. How often does Yamile take care of her son? Uh -huh. Ok. Give the answer. Yamile always take care of her son. Ok. Yamile always takes takes, el verbo take con S, ok, sí. takes sí. care of her day no. car. Yamilet, ¿qué? Yamilet. Always. Always. Takes care of her son. Takes care of her son. Yes. Very okay. nice. Ahí estamos. Sí. That's the one. Ya terminaron. La de sí. reporte, Edgar, ¿cómo, no. ¿cómo le había quedado? Um, How often Roxana Sen report? Roxana Sen del report daily. Daily, daily ajá. Va, perfecto. Roxana Sen report daily. Uh, Me salen cinco, ok, ok, ok. A pesar que la palabra daily ya no sería un frequency adverb. Sería una, free, una time expression, ¿ok? Pero igual, uh -huh. it's going to be ok, ok. Cool. Vamos a tomar como válida. No problem. ¿Pero cómo Bye. sería? ¿Cómo sería? Ya, ya que dijo, ¿cómo Bye. sería? Usando un frequency adverb, sería. Si estamos hablando, how often the Roxana send reports? She, sería, or, sería, sería, guay. Sí, o Roxana. Oh, Ahí puede poner, poner cualquiera que usted quiera, cualquiera. She never, she sometimes, she always, she usually, she... Roxana, send... No, no, no. Antes de poner la palabra send, coloque el adverbio. Always. Ok, si va a poner always. Roxana, always. Yo lo he puesto al final, los adverbios. Sends. Send. Send. They report. Ok. Right, that's Gracias. It. Perfect. Cool. Let's go back to the main section, okay? Bueno. All right, so everybody's coming back. Everybody has already finished. Everybody has already participated. And I think everybody has had fun, have had fun. Cool, let's wait for the rest. Hey, what happened to the rest? ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Se los tenían conectados 14. Ya se durmieron, de hecho. Yes, <laughs> yes, pensaron que ya nos íbamos quizás. <laughs> no, I mean, they are coming. They are coming. Cool. Let's start over with the practice that you got then. All right. I want to listen to those questions that you have. William, who were you working with? Con Ivania. Okay, cool. Listen up. Listen up. Bye. How often do you go to church? Uh... He always go to Sunday. 
Ah, no, in this case is personal, Ivania. Oh, no okay. le voy a preguntar a usted, no se preocupe. <laughs> Entonces digo las personales mías. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I normally go to Sunday. Okay. I normally go to church on Sundays. Okay. Second question? Yes, ma'am. Continue. How often does she have meetings? She rarely has meetings. Very good. Third question. How often do they go to the beach? They occasionally go to the beach. Now, nah, okay, very good. Now, let's switch. Ivania, leale las otras tres a William. Okay. Half of them does he do this do the laundry? He sometimes do the laundry twice a week. Now, nah, okay. Half of them does Roxana some report. Hola, hola. Hola, half hola. Of the, ah. Half of them that Rosana send report. Rosana always send report in the morning. It is okay. report in the morning. No? Okay, very good. La última. Half of them does Jamile take care of her son. Okay, very good. Jamile usually take care of of her song every day. Okay, very good. Now, the questions that are in first person. William, how often does she go to church? She normally go to the, go to the, on Sunday. She normally goes to church on Sundays. Now, Espérame, espérate, che, que, que me, está falla, me está fallando, me está fallando el Inter. Ok. Vaya. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Vaya. Right. She normally go to the shore on Sunday. Ah, ok, cool. That was the personal question, right? The other one, if you take a look in there, that's the only one that we have in first person. Ok, Ivania, so how often does William go to church? I always go to church Sunday. No, oh, okay, very good. So thank you, William, and thank you, Ivania. You did it excellent. Okay. Good. Jorge, who were you working with? Uh, se me olvidó el nombre. <laughs> Jonathan, oh, Jonathan. Jonathan, okay, cool. <laughs> let's continue. Jorge, let's start with the questions. Las primeras okay. tres preguntas, okay? How often do you go to church? I I never go to church. Okay, cool. How often does she have meetings? She 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 of, often meeting. She often has meetings. Has meeting. Okay, cool. How often do they go to the beach? They they always go to beach. They always. Uh huh. Ah, okay. They always go to the beach. Cool. Now, Jonathan, read the last three questions to Jorge. How how often does he do? He do take laundry. Uh, he never does the laundry. How often does Roxana chase report? Uh, she rarely sends reports. Okay. Mm -hmm. How often Jamila take word of That's her song? She generally takes care of her son. Takes okay. care of her son. Okay, cool. Jorge, how often does Jonathan go to church? Uh, he, he never goes to the church. Ah, okay, cool. Jonathan, how often does Jorge go to church? 
Chi... Chi son tais has miri. Uh, listen, Jonathan. How often does Jorge go to church? ¿Qué tan a menudo va a la iglesia, Jorge? Sería la tercera. La primera. Pero aquí ya se la estoy preguntando en tercera persona. Uh, I never go to church. Eh, la respuesta de Jorge, ¿cuál era? Esa, I never go to church. Ah, ok. Entonces usted me va a decir, he never goes to church. He never goes to church. Ok, very good. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Jorge. You did it excellent. Cool. Okay. Julio Alberto, who were you practicing Hi. with? <clears throat> Con Carlos. ¿Cuál de los dos? Camero. Camero. <laughs> or... Carlos. Eh, se me olvidó. Chávez. 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 All right, cool. Julio, let's okay. read the first, the first three questions. Okay. How often do you go to church? Okay. Carlos, I, I always go to the church. Very good. How often does she have a meeting? No. Eh, yo, yo respondí por Julio, lo cambié, ¿verdad? Yo puse Julio sometimes has a meeting. Julio sometimes has meetings. Sí. Ah, oh, ok. That's acceptable too. Cool. Number three. Okay. Eh, how often do you say go, go to the beach? Eh, I rarely go to the beach. Uh, they, they, they rarely. Ah, they, they rarely go to the beach. Very good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the next three questions, Carlos. Let's read them and Julio is going to answer. Okay. How often does Julio send a report? Eh, creo que es la cuatro, Carlos. La cinco. Ah, no, Number la, four. La... Number four. Es... Sí, la cuarta era desde la landería, ¿va? Let me see. Ah. Yes. Ok, entonces sería... Eh, espere, déjeme ver la... No, ok. La, la respuesta, teacher. Voy a, voy a ver la, la, la pregunta, permítanme. Ah. Ok, sería... How often does he do the laundry? Ah, ok. Uh, he sometimes do the laundry. Okay. Uh, the second one. How often does Julio send a report? Cambié persona por Julio ahí. No, okay, no problem. Uh, Julio uh, sends. Oh, perdón, Julio. Rarely sends a report. Okay, well, you rarely sends a report. Okay, cool. That's one. Sería, how often does Julio take care of her son? His his son. His son. Sí, sí. His son. Pero... Julio always take care of his uh, his son, verdad? His son. Okay, very good. Uh, since you have been practicing the third person question, I'm not going to ask you the ones that I was, okay? Thank you, Julio, and thank you, Carlos. You did it excellent. Cool. Thank you, teacher. Soyla, who were you practicing with? Soyla. Wow. Edgar. Ah, good. All right, good. Jose Edgar. Let's read the three questions. All right. Okay. Um, how often do you go to the shop? Uh, I occasionally go to church. Very okay. good. Um, how often does she have a meeting? I sometimes have a meeting. 
Uh, in this case, Jose, it's like she sometimes has meetings. Ah, okay. Because it's third person. The Por la person. tercera. Yeah. Ah, está bien, está bien. Uh, how often does Roxana send report? Eh, es la tercera o la cuarta? La quinta. La quinta. Como solo tres dijo que eligieran. Ah, ah, ok, ok. Se las hizo saltadas. Ok, a ver. Al take report. Ok, Roxana, always. Always send the report. Ah, ok, very good. Cool. So, las que no le preguntó a usted, a uh, Edgar, hágaselas a Soyla. Léaselas. Ah, ok. How often do they go to the beach? They never go to the beach. Very good. <laughs> How often does he do they laundry? Laundry? He always does does the laundry. Okay. He always he always does the laundry. Ah, okay. Okay. Perfect. How often does Yamile, Yamile Taike carve out her son? Um, Yamile always takes care of his son very well. Her son, actually. Her son. Her son. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you, Jose Edgar. And thank you, Soila. You did it excellent. Cool. Okay. Now, let's move. Let's move. Carlos Gamero, who are you working with? Jose Pineda. Ah, okay, cool. Let's start. Lea las primeras tres preguntas. Él responde. Y luego él las primeras, las últimas tres. Y este responde, okay? Let's do it. How often do you go to church? Perfect. Pineda. I, I saw Matai go to church. Go to church. Ah, okay. How often does she have meeting? I quite go to church. Uh, no, no, es la segunda. No, no. Uh, How often does, es que ahí te estás contestando, que eso después lo iban a hacer. Mm. Entre nosotros, te estoy haciendo la segunda pregunta. How often does she have meeting? Ahí contestas. Mm -hmm. I sometimes. Uh, she sometimes. She sometimes. She sometimes. She sometimes has have has meeting has meeting. Ah, okay, she sometimes has meeting. Cool. The last question. How often do the, do they go to the beach? Jose. Uh, she seldom, uh, seldom uh, in that case the to, question was listen the question was how often do they go to the beach que tan a menudo ellos van a la playa it seldom Ajá, va a comenzar. They seldom, they go, to seldom the go to the they beach. They seldom go to the beach. Ah, ok, cool. Lean las preguntas de la 4 a la 6, José. A Carlos. Ok. How often does he do the laundry? Ah, ok. How often does he do the laundry? He always does the laundry. Perfect. How often does 
Roxana Sand Reports. She normally sends reports. Okay. How often does Jamile take a card of her son? Jamile always takes care of her son. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Jose. You did it nice. Uh, Ivania, who are you working with? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, who were you working with? ¿Con quién trabajó? Eh, con William. Ah, ¿Qué with pasamos? William, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. cool. No problem. Let me see who's next. Veronica, let's do it with your pair. Trabajé con Cindy. Now, okay, cool. Let's read the first three questions, Veronica. How often yeah. do you go to shorts? I sometimes go to shorts. Very good. How often does she have meetings? Um, she usually has meetings. How often do they go to the beach? They sometimes go to the beach. Go to the beach. Okay, cool. Now you continue, Cindy. Yes. Um, how often does he do the laundry? He often does the laundry. Okay. How often does Roxana sell reports? Roxana generally sends reports. And how often does Jamilet take care of the of her son? Jamilet always take care of her son. Okay, very good. Thank you, Veronica and Cindy. You did it excellent. Cool. Ah, uh, Michelle. Let's continue, Michelle. Who were you working with? Hola. Teacher, ajá. Aquí conmigo, pero pero que las no las tengo, no las tengo yo. Why don't you se have la, them? Se la voy a se la voy a leer yo y ella creo que tiene las mías. Okay, okay, no problem. Ahora right, Gilberto, le hace las entonces y ella que responda. Sí, pero pues, creo que me me confundí. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's do it. How often do you go to shore? He sometimes go to the shore. Uh, you did it in third person, Stephanie. Right, sí, right, right. It's right there. He sometimes. Okay, pero ahorita lo está haciendo con, con, con la respuesta de él. Con la respuesta de él. O lo tengo que decir con mi respuesta. Hágalo con su respuesta, ¿ok? Ah, vaya. Sí, porque Entonces si, sería... Si no lo tiene, no, no, no problema. Ah, vaya. Entonces sería... I sometimes go to the church. Cool. Gilberto, continue reading. How often does she have marrying? I always have meeting. Have meetings, ajá. Uh -huh. How often do they go to the beach? They seldom go to the beach. How often does he do the laundry? Eh, aquí puse algo diferente, teacher, pero no sé si está bien. Uh -huh. Vaya, le puse. He usually washes clothes every day. Está bien así. Mm. Hubiera seguido el mismo patrón mejor. Técnicamente ah, entonces... la respuesta está correcta o la oración está correcta, 
solo que no es con el mismo vocabulario que, 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 que está respondiendo. Entonces sería, he usually eh, do, the, do the laundry. Does the laundry. Como ya es tercera Dar. persona. Ajá, ah, ese vea. Yes. Pero, lo put, pero las dos formas es válido. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's valid. It's valid. Ah, okay. Next question, Gilberto. How often does Roxana send reports? No, okay. Roxana normally send reports every day. Ah, okay. Last question. How often does Jamile take care of her son? Okay. Jamile always takes care of her son every day. Takes care of her son every day. Okay, very good. Thank you, Stephanie, Michelle, and Gilberto. You did a great. Uh, let me see. Thank you, missing. teacher. Cool. Carlos Gamero, did you participate already? All right. Yes, cool. Ah, yes, it's done. Okay. Juan Campos. Juan, who are you working with? Juan, are you there? Sorry, sorry. I am in there. He's there. He was with Xiomara, right? No, okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm working with Xiomara. Perfect, Juan. Uh, you can start uh, reading the questions, the first three questions. Okay. How often do you go to the church? Juan? I sometimes I sometimes visit the church. Okay, I sometimes visit the church or I sometimes go to church. Cool. Second question, Sumara. How often do they go to the beach? I'm be honest. I rarely visit the beach because I had uh, I had to work every day. Oh, okay, and you're taking my the day off are in the middle of the weekend. Really, your day off are in the middle of the weekend? It means you work Saturdays and Sundays. Significa que trabajas sábados yeah, y domingos. I this is, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Weird. weird, man. Raro, right? Raro. <laughs> okay, cool. Xiomara, read the next question. How often does Jamila take care of the son? Jamila usually take care of the son every day. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, okay, all right. Juan, read the, la the last three questions. So let's see if you can listen like a little bit better. Okay. Juan, are you there? El Inter, como lo que lo tiene, me está fallando. Yes, sí, creo que sí, el Inter lo está fallando bastante. Sí, fue el Inter, quizá. Probablemente. Juan, ¿do you listen to us? Yeah. Okay, Juan. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you have problems with the internet, as your classmates are saying. Creo que sí tiene problemas de conectividad, como sus compañeros lo están mencionando, porque... Su voz se escucha medio robótica uh, y, y, y como entrecortada. Y ahorita pues... Yeah, y ahorita yeah. como que no se escucha. Ok. okay. Hello. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. Pues, lea um, las, tres, las últimas tres, ok. Do it. So, 
How often does he do the laundry? Ah, okay, cool. He never does the laundry. Okay. Okay. How often does Roxana send reports? She always sends reports. Ah, okay. How often does she have meetings? She always has meetings. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Juan, and thank you, Samara. You finished. You did it cool. Okay. Nice. Uh, Wendy, do you do you participate already? No. All right. Okay. Who were you working with? Con Elvi. Ah, okay, perfect. Let's start, Wendy. How often do you go to the church? I sometimes go to the church. How often does she have meetings? She sometimes has meetings. How often do they go to the beach? They occasionally go to the beach. Good. Now let's switch. Elby? How often does he do the laundry? He often does the laundry. How often does Roxana send reports? Roxana normally sends reports. Report. Okay. How often does Jamilet take care of her son? Uh, she always takes care of her son. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Wendy and Elvi. You did it excellent. Cool. Who's missing? From the ones that are in here, who's missing? Who's missing? Perfecto. ¿Quién no me ha participado? The ones that are here. Who says Karen? Ah, yeah, I mean Karen. Okay, Karen. Let's go. With Julio, right? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Karen, let's start. How often do you go to church? Uh, I usually go to the church. Yeah. How often does she have meetings? She sometimes has meetings. How often do they go to the beach? They occasionally go to the beach. Okay, cool. Switch uh, it. How often does he do day laundry? He rarely does the laundry. How often does Roxana send reports? She usually sends reports. How, how often does Jamily take care of her son? She always takes care of her son. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Julio and Karen. You did it great. Cool. I think those are the ones, right, that we get as participation. Cool. Thank you, people, for the participation. By tomorrow, we're going to have the conversations. Bien, las conversaciones que teníamos para ahora, pues por motivos de tiempo, las vamos a dejar para mañana. Ok, tenemos algunas conversaciones usando how often, y usando los frequency uh, adverbs, right? But we're going to complete that tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to start with a, a new different topic, ok? Uh, that's pretty much what we're going to have for tonight. I'm sorry for the six minutes that we passed through the, the time, you know, that was like not expected. So I'm going to pass the attendance list and that's going to be like everything for tonight. Okay. Cool. Carlos Mauricio. Sure. Okay, cool. Good night. Good night, mister. Uh, Cindy Melanie. Hello, teacher. Okay. Thank you, miss. Uh, let's see. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher, present. Okay, perfect. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, nice. All right, cool. Eh, Gustavo Adolfo, yeah, he's not here. Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Okay, Ivania, como usted estuvo la, la, la última clase, ¿verdad? La retroalimentación. Sí, el viernes. Okay, perfect. Y Gustavo volvió a faltar. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. All right, Jorge. Ahora le va a tocar sus 10 minutos de retroalimentación, ¿ok? Ok. Cool, se me queda. Nice. Uh, José Antonio. Present. Perfect. José Edgar. Present. Ok, excellent. Juan Emanuel. 
present. Perfect. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Very nice. Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. Okay. Julio Cesar. Present. All right. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, great. Luis Gerardo. Yeah, he didn't show up, right? Uh, let me see, Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's move. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Tiomar Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Luis Jonathan. Present, teacher. Very nice. Carlos Jose. On heat is present. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Soy La Guadalupe. Okay, very nice. All right, people. Thank you for coming to, to, you know, thank you for connecting. Let's see you tomorrow. Let's remember, keep going with the homework. Okay, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Okay, good night. Bye bye. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. See good you tomorrow. Night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, mister. Let's, let's see you tomorrow. Let's see you. All right. Just give me one second. Okay, perfect. Good. So this time, this time minus uh, Jorge are basically just to clarify any question that you might have with this class, the previous classes, or something related to the platform, okay? So let's remember, esto es simplemente una retroalimentación para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con respecto a esta clase o clases anteriores, si hay algo que usted no le ha quedado del todo claro o algo relacionado a la plataforma, pues este tiempo es para, para ello, right? Cool, I don't know if you have any questions, I mean, Jorge. Eh, solamente eh, con, con la segunda con las segundas tareas este podemos ir haciendo clase terminada y ajá trabajar, sí tarea. exacto exacto inclusive usted si si tiene tiempo y quiere avanzar y le entiende el tema puede avanzar en las tareas no hay ningún problema la idea con esto de la plataforma es que usted pueda practicar lo más que pueda ¿Ok? Ahí la idea es esa. Que usted pueda practicar lo más que se pueda. ¿Right? Si usted quiere avanzar, I mean, there's no problem. It's perfect. ¿Right? Entre más oh, okay. usted pueda practicar, eh, es, 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 es genial. ¿Ok? Ahí okay. No, no hay límite o no hay algo que lo defina que hasta ahí va a llegar y ya, ya, ya no puede seguir. No, ahí no. Cualquier cosa ahí. Inclusive, si no tiene el 100% de la actividad, por ejemplo, de las cinco interrogantes que aparecen en una actividad, en una, en una homework, cuatro le salgan buenas y una mala. Usted puede volver a repetir la actividad y tener el 100% y no hay ningún problema. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Porque la idea es que usted pueda seguir practicando. ¿Ok? Ese es el, el objetivo principal de la plataforma. Que aparte de lo que se da acá en clase, usted pueda practicarlo ahí a través de esos ejercicios. Ok. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way how it works. Esa es la forma como trabajamos con, con, con lo de la plataforma. Con la plataforma. Okay, yeah. And with the classes? Uh, bueno, por el momento, solo eso. Yo digo que he ido entendiendo todo, ¿no? <laughs> ok, ok. Ha quedado perfecto con los, con los temas, entonces. Ha quedado claro cada uno de ellos. Yeah. All right, perfect. Something else in which I can help you up? No sé si hay algo más en lo que le podemos ayudar. Podemos, like, you know, like, aclarar cualquier duda or something. No, solamente es. That was it. Okay, cool. So, básicamente ahí, pues, como le menciono, me repito, uh, podemos continuar practicando en la plataforma, no hay ningún problema. Podemos inclusive avanzarnos con las tareas, okay? Si usted dice, ah, voy a practicar en tarea eh, 6, 7, 8. You can do it. Perfect. With no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, okay, teacher. Right. Thanks. Cool. 
Perfecto, Jorge. Entonces, si eso es todo lo que, lo que tiene para preguntar y todo, si, si todo está claro, me alegro bastante de que los temas van quedando claros entonces. Like, you know. okay. Okay. Perfecto. Yeah. Entonces, entonces, sin nada más que agregar, Jorge, nos vemos la próxima clase, ¿ok? We'll see you tomorrow, right? All right. See you tomorrow, too. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Jorge. Have a wonderful night, yeah. ¿ok? Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Okay, cool. There you go. All right, so basically, remember, we have been practicing uh, the frequency adverbs, ¿ok? What are those frequency adverbs? Are words that shows, you know, like frequency in activities. What, which ones are those? All right, the ones that we have been practicing like the most are always, usually, normally, often, right? Sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, and also never. Recordemos que con never es cuando generalmente usamos oraciones en negativo, okay? Like, I never do the homework. Ah, nunca hago la tarea. Eso es una oración en negativo, okay? So, just keep that on mind, right? So let's see you in another video conference. Have a wonderful night, okay? Bye.